Here is the crucial mental shift we have to make. Don't try and block out what happened in the past. We can't. Instead, though, we can recall it, but not worry about it. There is the crucial difference. Acknowledge it happened, but don't worry about the past. We can't go back and change it. Keep the focus totally on today, on what we can control, and concentrate our energies and efforts there. Konnichiwa, and welcome to the Leadership Series, and I'm your host in Tokyo, Dr. Greg Story, President of Dale Carnegie Training Japan, and much more importantly, you are a student of leadership, highly motivated to be the best in your business field. Today's show is brought to you by the Leadership Training for Managers course. Every organization needs more and better leadership. This course enables you to achieve that aim. In addition to all the solid leadership subjects, it also has an innovation project built into it, so it really provides high value. Host it in-house or send people to our public programs. If you have a performance or people challenge in Japan, then maybe we can help you. Contact me at greg.story, G-R-E-G dot story, at dalecarnegie.com. How would you like your own access to 104 years of the accumulated wisdom of Dale Carnegie Training? Get our free report. Stop wasting money on training. How to get the best results from your training budget. Plus, our free white papers, guidebooks, reports, training videos, blogs, newsletters, course information, plus much, much more at japan.dalecarnegie.com. This is episode number 150. And today, we are talking about attitude control. We can control 100% of our attitude. Yes, but often we don't. There are a few things we can be 100% in control of, and our attitude would have to rank at the top of things we really need to control. So you would think we would all be brilliant in this area. We aren't. And so why do we have problems? Part of the issue can be allowing past failures to sap our mental fortitude. We mentally rerun the movie in our minds of things we regret or events we actually don't want to remember but do anyway. No amount of self-discipline seems to work, shielding us from the past. We seem drawn to flashbacks and reliving the past episodes where we fell short or failed. We're really creative too. We don't just allow the past to wipe out our positive attitude. We inject the future in there as well. We project forward and start imagining all sorts of failures and issues we will suffer before they ever even happen or arrive. The combination of past realities and future possibilities can be a powerful mix to drag us into a downward spiral where the world seems bleak, dark, and we are hopeless. No matter how many self-affirmations we do or how positive we try to make ourselves, these prior and future fears weigh us down. What can we do about it? Try to live in daytight compartments. This means we focus 100% of our energy and attention on what is facing us today and don't allow the past and future to impinge on our attitude. Here is the crucial mental shift we have to make. Don't try and block out what happened in the past. We can't. Instead, though, we can recall it, but not worry about it. 
There is the crucial difference. Acknowledge it happened, but don't worry about the past. We can't go back and change it. Keep the focus totally on today, on what we can control, and concentrate our energy and efforts there. The same applies to the future. Of course, we, could, we should consider what will happen in the future. Hopefully, we will be spending quite a bit of time there. Again, there is considering the future and preparing for it, but not worrying about it. This difference is huge. Prepare for it, but don't allow it to cause worry. Again, flick the switch and look at what is right in front of you now and work on that. Yes, random thoughts about the future will wander in our consciousness, so write them down, capture the issues, call them out, work on ameliorating them, but don't worry about them. When we think about controlling today, what we read and who we speak with will have an impact on our attitude. Find positive information in newspapers, magazines, books, articles, Facebook, LinkedIn posts, etc., and read that. Be aware of it, but skip the grabby details on everything ugly and negative. That actually means skipping most of the news on television because you, you can't really control what's coming up next. At least with written text, online or offline, you can control your intake. Let's be very picky about what we feed into our minds. People are the other biggie. Reduce the contact and influence of negative people as much as possible. Avoid whiners, complainers, and negative mindset types as much as possible. You may be forced into close proximity with negative people due to where you work, but keep that exposure to a minimum. See them as radioactive and avoid all unnecessary contact. Find people who are positive, upbeat, and spend time with them. There are fewer of this variety, but they are around, and so soak up and contribute to their positive vibe. Look for organizations where the positive congregate and join the group. The past, the future, and the negative erode our positive attitude. So as a priority, let's organize our life to deal with these issues. When we do that, life gets easier, better, and happier. It is all in the mind, is old wisdom, but still true. Action steps from today. 1. Accept past memories, but don't worry about them. 2. Accept certain things might happen in the future. Prepare for them, but don't worry about them. Avoid all forms of negativity. 4. Search out positive environments and people and spend time there. Thank you for joining the Leadership Japan series and we hope you enjoyed today's show brought to you by the Leadership Training for Managers course. As mentioned, if you have a performance or people challenge in Japan, then maybe we can help you. Contact me at greg.story, G-R-E-G dot story, S-T-O-R-Y at dalecarnegie.com. Also remember, to access your Dale Carnegie training, free reports, white papers, guidebooks, training videos, blogs, newsletters, course information, plus much, much more, then go to japan.dalecarnegie.com.
And so remember to access your Dale Carnegie training, free reports, white papers, guidebooks, training videos, blogs, newsletters, course information. My God, it's endless. Plus, much, much more. Then go to japan.dalecarnegie.com.